Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to start a three-part series on mini educators uh, containment system. So today's going to be the installation of the system. The second part of the video is going to be programming the actual collar and then we're going to go into a training video. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get started and I should probably say this before you get started with this we will be burying the line so definitely call 811 before you dig and we're going to go back here and just kind of show you how we mark off the perimeter. We have to bury the wire one to three inches. So we're going to go three inches and we're going to get started with that as our first step. Okay, so the next thing we did is we actually marked off the perimeter. Uh, that way we can see where we're going to be digging, went and lined everything out. We're using the, uh, the 500 foot uh, spool. We actually bought the boundary kit so it comes with the, uh, the flags. Um, and as you can see, we just went around the property and went ahead and sprayed everything out so we can start trenching. Okay, so there's basically three ways that we can lay this trench. We can go old school and dig it out with a shovel. It only has to be buried one to three inches. We recently had a lot of rain, so the ground's nice and soft. You can rent a trencher for most hardware stores, our local hardware store. We called about it. They didn't have one in stock. We're just simply going to use an edger. You'll see it attaches to a weed eater. It's going to make quick work out of this. We're going to leave right here and we're going to show you a little bit of work in progress. I want to talk to you a little bit about the trench. As you can see, We've got the trench cut. You can actually see the wire in there, but it's very important when you make these turns to round them out, folks. Don't go super sharp because it can actually crimp the wire, which will create a dead zone. So now it comes the time to hook everything up. We've got two things that we're running wires to in this video. We've got the main box that you see me holding right here. You see a red light flashing. What you don't hear is the alarm. And if you look on that blinking red, alarm on means broken wire. Um, if it was solid red, no alarm, power failure. Now this thing does have battery backups in the back of it. You're gonna see in the next clip, if the light solid blue, you're good to go. So. Let's take a look at this. We have the main box and the lightning surge protector. Folks, buy the lightning surge protector. It's going to save you money in the long run. You will see there's actually the wire that was causing the alarm. What we have is the start and finish. We started with this house, made a big circle. What we're going to show you here is that um, a real simple install. The loop is where the start and finish. Uh, wires go into and here shortly you're actually going to see us show you how we ran things through the house we didn't have any dead zones with this folks we actually came around and through the basement and out a vent or through the crawl space and out a vent so the dog could go into the house and the owners could take the collar off so your start and finish are going to go into the loop and then we cut a short wire and make a jumper that goes from the TX to the main box. As we mentioned in the previous video clip, we have a solid blue light. That's telling us that everything has a good connection, everything's functioning properly. Now, we are going to clean this up. We're not gonna leave this like this with all the wires just out there. The day of filming, I checked the website, the weatherproof box is in stock. I ordered it. We're going to place this inside the weatherproof box. We're going to get some conduit to hide the wires in and just make it a nice, clean, professional install. But this is the picture you should see if everything is functioning properly. So now comes the time that we're actually going to customize our collar settings. Now, this one would be, you notice that it's set for a large dog. We're going to adjust the level from zero to five. We don't want tone only. Tone only was the default setting. It is, you'll see here in the video, make sure that it is sitting flatly and securely on the top position that says place collar here. And then we simply just press the sit button until the LED 
flashes from red to green and we're ready to go. Hopefully this video helps some of you folks that are going to be installing your containment system from eCollar Technologies. Overall, it was a simple DIY. Now, what took the most time obviously was making the trench. We use the weed eater, but you know, you can rent something that's gonna speed the process up. We made a big circle around the property. We just did 500 feet. It took us roughly an hour and a half to trench it out with that weed eater. Now, we didn't have any breaks in the system. This system, you can get as creative as you want. I've had clients run the wire through PVC pipe and put the PVC pipe in the pond and literally block off half of the pond. We have, uh, I have a lot of clients around here that have problems with dogs getting in the chicken coop. Well, what's the easiest way to keep them out of a chicken coop? You can set up a perimeter around the chicken coop. You can put them around flower beds. You can add to this system. That's the beauty of the system, folks. Now, I will be um, adding additional videos basically on some of the key features and also how to train your dog to get used to the system. But I hope this answered most of your questions about installation. So until next week, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you soon.